Do not worry. Lebanon is unsafe, folks, with robberies happening everywhere and they're being caught on camera. Everyone needs to be careful. We're going to talk about this. This is like a really dangerous epidemic, like taking over the country. There's drama between our fans and the newly released Arabs podcast. There's some Joseph Mirab drama. Uh, we finally know Abu Hadi's age. Uh, there's a McDonald's Sujo conspiracy, folks. Uh, Shada versus Tassidis. New brand. Shada. <laughs> <Ou> Tassidis. <laughs> we got parodied by Sergio M, who was Joy Tassidis' biggest enemy. And much, much, much more. Uh, Phil and Will, the amazing Phil and Will, sent us a goodie bag of, of dinner that we're going to have. And yeah. we're giving away, we're going to announce the winner of Under the Vile Moon, the book that we're giving away, uh, written by DC Habib, his brand new book. You can buy it on Amazon, Malik's Bookstore, Virgin Mega Store, and Duty Free if you all travel and freaks. Uh, thank you to everybody. Uh, welcome back, Noor. She's back hey, after a long you. break. Hello, <laughs> Sahel. Good. Keep, how was that break? Yeah, na hada Wa alaikum salam. I don't know how that makes any sense. We have three brand new blonde patrons, folks. Areni Poladian. Thank you, Areni. I don't know how to say your name. Mustafa Zalzali and Mike Zahabi. All new blonde patrons. Welcome to the family. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. We cannot, and I repeat, we cannot do this without you. If there are no patrons, there are no interns. No interns, no show. That's how it works. So thank you guys so much for joining our Patreon family. You are making sure that this show can keep going, that I can keep paying these interns. And let me take a moment to thank some other brilliant in, uh, patrons that we love. Uh, blonde patrons like Céline Ash, Antoinette Saab, Wael Abu Karam, Falafel Brain, uh, Paul, Cristal, and Lily, and Lucas with an R, and superhero patrons like Mher um, Krikorian, Muhammad Wardini, Zad the Zataria family, Gino, and Bonnie. We love you guys and our God tier patrons. Foras Nademan, Rifat Fakir, <laughs> Burgery, and Eli Al Mujabir. The captain, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, check out our <laughs> Patreon. Uh, find a tier that right that's right for you that works, you know. And uh, yeah, get on that supporting. You, you, you doing good, Nu? All good. You happy to be back? I am actually. Oh, well, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're happy to have I you back. I came half an hour early. <laughs> yeah, man, you're so excited to be here that you came early. Uh, hello, Sahla. Uh, folks, let's get into it. We have a couple of hick and light little. Today's a chill, calm episode. Okay, other than the criminal, uh, the crimes, the crime sprees taking over Lebanon, that's not chill. But other than that, it's a pretty chill episode. No that's lawsuits. That's why I came. Actually. That's my hick. <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. I don't have to talk shit about anybody. Hadawa, no stress. Uh, let me tell you guys about what I've got going on today after the shoot. I gotta go dog sit, folks. I'm dog sitting. I'm taking care of some puppies. My coat, my boxing coach is. Uh, I'm uh, our, one of our heavyweight champs, but Jim, uh, Ricardo Bashir, <clears throat> and the fight be, uh, be Abu Dhabi this Friday. So the coach is going to be in his corner. And I'm taking care of his two dogs. This is champ, big ass, like uh, Chien Lou. <laughs> and little Skip. Look at this little adorable Skip? little fella. <laughs> this is Skip. <laughs> and that's champ. Yeah, they're adorable. Uh, huge. Yeah, this guy's fucking huge. He looks huge. But I uh, got to go walk these, these motherfuckers uh, after the shoot tonight. Tell them I couldn't fish it. But they're adorable. <laughs> uh, it's the first time I ever dox it. It's kind of hicky. It's daunting, you know, the responsibility. Like, if something, if something happens to him, it's on me. So I'm uh, scared. Uh, your first time? Well, no, I hung out with them last night. Uh. But so, no, it's my first night with them alone. Yeah. I was yesterday. They got to know me. Hello. Uh, Daddy's gonna take care of them. I'm a trader. Don't be ashamed. The police chat that said, "Hey, the club, hey, the." No, no, actually, it's fine. Like uh, I walked them home in the morning. Tahta shit, it was chill. Yeah, it's, if it's a little bit of rain, it's fine. My maximum men not turn. They can hold it. The boys can hold it. Nah, bimza. Coach, not the zalman. No, they're not gonna hold it. They're not gonna wait any. So they want to pee. We're gonna treat them well. Shwan na kamen. Type. This is one little. This isn't a casual topic, and best. And I do want to talk about this. Uh, Palestine. If you guys noticed last week, makti dehki na. And less than usual, yeah. normally even this will she 20, 30 minutes. And I personally feel like I'm, I'm not starting to tune out, but I'm not tired shway. I'm having a hard time keeping up. I'm a little burnt out, I would say. Not that I, f I have any right to be burnt out. We're okay, making you feel better. Okay, we're not getting bombed every day. And we're still living in constant stress. And it does take a toll on our, on our mental health. Yeah, and, and honestly, come in, I feel the same way. Well, I know my birthday is jihad to make us feel bad. No, you shouldn't be doing this. You should be talking more. I know. Yeah, I know. I can buy many. Because it is tiring. It's not very. It is. It's horrible to look at. We come in. I like, for example, I've been sharing less on Instagram. That's the thing that I would do the most because that's the easiest thing that we could do. But so no, I'm sharing way less. I'm, tr I'm choosing not to even engage. And when I see Palestine related content, I'm kind of scrolling a little bit extra fast. 
to skip it. I don't know why. Today, when I saw Mautez's final video, Mautez announcing that he's leaving, we're going to watch that video. It kind of hit me that like, oh shit. Well, now that Mautez is leaving, I feel like people are going to be even less interested in what's happening. Because you know, to me, Mautez, Ubizan, and, and these few, I don't want to call them characters, but you know, they're like characters in a story at this point, which is fucked up. They're the things keeping us tied. And the Dahdouh. Little la, Lama Al Jamus, all these, all these fucking amazing people. So when they start to leave, you're like, God damn. Not that yeah, Mautaz has every right to leave. I'm shocked he didn't leave sooner, and I'm shocked that he's still alive. But how do you feel, Nadim Kiv? How do you feel about well, the whole Tabit? Oh. No, at some point there, and Hatal Yom, whenever I saw Mautaz's video, came and hit me. And I said, no. Mainly with my time tool, and I mean, hala, no. Uh, honestly, honestly, people are tired. People just want to survive. Anjad, Anjad, fuck anyone who makes us feel bad about it. I know. Okay, we're not getting bombed every day, sah. But I know it's still stressful and it's still something we're going through. Saying that the South is, I guess, getting bombed every day still. Nahna, we're not yes, getting yes. bombed. The South anu. is still getting shelled. They're eating shit there. Haram. Yani. There's there's people dying come in almost every day. Uh, extreme amounts of damage. But I'm just not. I can't. Uh, my body. It's just been a few days. Well, I feel guilty about it. I'm, I'm sharing this because I feel kind of shitty about it. Uh, let's take a second just to watch Mautaz's video. Uh, we're gonna have to mute the music, Elijah, using that new AI software, baby. Hell yeah! I hate artificial intelligence, though. But we found I found software that like just removes the music from videos, which is great for us. So hey, Damotaz, our boy. Yeah, it feels like we know this guy, bro. Mishma'ul. So, so this is a famous word. I keep saying it during the 107 days. This is the last time you will see me with this heavy, stinky vest. Uh, I decided to <sighs> to evacuate today. So, uh, it's so hard for him to say the but, word. Uh, mm -hmm. Inshallah, hopefully soon, come back and build and help to get to build Gaza again. Oh my God! So I heard that he's evacuating to Qatar. This is so touching, and his friends and family. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. So. It's when I talk about it, when I just watch it silently, it's fine. When you try to talk about it and narrate what's happening, it, it hits you more. So, uh, I will the miss these, these people. I, I spent the whole days with them. Even uh, once of time, they pick me out of the office. But why? How is it going? Yeah. It's terrible, man. It's terrible. And like, I can amnach ana anur before we started drilling. Like, what kind of life? Okay, he's gonna go to Qatar. What kind of life can Mautaz live after everything that he's seen? And even if he gets an ice cream cone and he sees like melting ice cream, he's gonna see like a melting face of a child or something. It's just everything is gonna remind him of the horrors that he's experienced for a hundred days. And I imagine him sitting in his, in his hotel room, just fucking like feeling yeah, guilty. I hope, I hope they're gonna be fine and they lead a normal life. I hope so. It's gonna take him a long time to recover. If he, he, he'll, part of him will never recover. Yeah, yeah for sure. Part of him will never recover. I know, but I was video, I was like, 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 I then by then, no, like she said, oh, no, it's hell. Into my third film in Beitak, best than no, hey, best than like my third. The way he says, and I hope I can come back and rebuild. It's like we all know, like they're probably never gonna come back. Hainiko, Ochtal, Israeli, they're gonna build fucking beach clubs. And this was his caption. He says, I had to evacuate for a lot of reasons. You all know some of it, but not all of it. Thank you all. Pray for Gaza. Uh, horrifying. Let's see why Maltez has to leave. Why does Maltez have to leave his country? So that white American actress Deborah Messing can come to Israel and hang out with Noah Tishby. Who's Deborah Messing? She's an old, for all you uh, Zoomers, she's an old actress that was on a sitcom. You know what a sitcom is? Uh, Will and Grace. She was Grace. Now she's a fucking piece of shit. Let's. Do you know why you feel safer here? Why? Because you're home. It really is. It really, it really is. is. This feels like home, this Middle Eastern I don't country. Go. I don't want to leave. <laughs> 
She's so I'm white, bro. So close friends and people from the people that are here. That mafia in Israel this time. Shushe bin kon lana yura. Go back to Beverly Hills, Deborah Messing. The people here are the most extraordinary people I've ever met in my entire life. Sema, tishba anhar al arba, bro. The strength. Hey, the babanun. Yeah, I feel home. You feel home. Hatta bas hip kop has it fake. Get a fake. She's an actress, bro. All she does is. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And the love. And the love. The love. The positivity. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Hey, it's. All right, that's enough. That's enough. This is. This is why Montez had to leave, folks. And Deborah Messing, star of Will and Grace, is coming home to her homeland of Israel. This white lady. God damn it. Don't get me started on the whites. I love white people, by the way. People think that I have against white people now. The white people, some of my best friends are white. I love the white people. If I ever want to work uh, you know, abroad, the white people, hey, hire me. I can't get it. Okay, last week, uh, Noor, Nadim and I opened up. We got honest. We said we talked about difficult <laughs> things. We opened up about our boycotts and yeah. some of the, 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 the cheating that we've done. I've, I've, I admitted to having McDonald's three times. There's something else that I did that I, I don't know if I want to admit that. Sure. I ordered McDonald's as soon as Nadim left last week af after we recorded the right episode. Right after the episode. Right after, because we talked about McDonald's so much <laughs> that he's left. And I fucking ordered... As soon as he <laughs> left, and I was, oh my God, it's so bad. It's been four times now, folks. I'm counting. Hey, I told you I feel guilty. I told you it doesn't feel right. Now, enough about <laughs> me. No, have you cheated? <laughs> have you? I <laughs> have, okay. actually. La, I wanted to tell you guys. Come I, I need to. I was waiting to come uh, this week to tell you guys, and Sh I wasn't it. going to hide it. I had McDonald's twice coming. Twice? Okay. Uh, I don't have to feel that bad. I'm going to tell that one time. I just ate the catering. I know, but in Dubai, no. But I just ate it once. Oh, yeah. How many times? Yeah, second. Oh, you lied. How many times? One. Hey, hon. Yeah. Yeah. Stay the number, bro. My body for this. Oh, you can't yeah. count. <laughs> oh my God, we we yeah, and we went through this last week. I know what, I know all the viewers. He even bad, he even bad. Hello. Yeah, he he did the job. My wife like. Also, the episode. Yeah, mitle. I know. As you left, I ordered McDonald's. Like, I'm very happy. Seriously. هلا هو اللي نقطة كان عنده إنه أصلاً فكان ب مكدوبا داروا شقة مكدوبا سرية. I had two McDonald's yeah. yesterday. ما أكلت فوق أكلت بس تعب. I don't feel that bad anymore. <laughs> Come at me. I only had it four times. لا أنا I had it twice. Both times I felt really bad afterwards. Felt ما horrible. أكلت. Felt horrible after my fourth time. Yesterday جاء بلي مكدو. Uh, but I went to Mano Burger. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And today is جاء بلي نأكل مكدو. Guess what? Phil and Will hooked us up with some dinner, yeah. so ain't no need for anybody to have no <laughs> goddamn McDonald's. I'm a little bit sad, but I ate the Sijo burger. Oh, come in. He fell into the trap. Okay, thanks for coming clean. I feel... I, it's great. Khalas, we're all horrible people. Yeah. Well, Elijah, we don't even need to ask him. He went to Disneyland. He went to the epicenter of evil. We're boycotting Disney+. Plus. We're going to Disneyland. Oh, by the way, by the way, Abel Kenneth, I know I stopped watching Disney Plus. Tala Khaya Defa subscription like a listen. So I'm still using it. Mali, 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 it's like Mali, Mali. But the makeup. Elijah, Elijah, Akhtar Wahad, who broke the rules. He went to a Madonna concert. Kilshi, Elijah broke all the rules. Basically, we love you, Elijah. Our brother, our brother. Sticking to the boycott thing, there's just a funny thing. Hey, the Bacha, it was just really funny on. Twitter. So there's this guy, اسمه uh, عماد شرب السكر. شباب اللبنانيين عندهم مصاريف ومسؤوليات موظفين بهالشركتين. ما رح قاطعهم كرمال حدا. Sorry, I'm, uh, my Arabic is bad, but it's not that bad. But everything is really far on the screen, so I can barely read. So it's making it even harder for me. But still, my فكر عالم إنه هذا my Arabic is not that bad. So okay, this guy عماد is saying, and he wants to protect Lebanese jobs. He is not going to boycott McDonald's or Starbucks. Uh, so then, like a week later, he's like, boycott Dolce and Gabbana because Dolce and Gabbana shared a picture of uh, what's this guy's name again? Lil Nas X. Lil Nas as Jesus on a cross. The same guy, like, I will not boycott, I do not believe in boycotting, etc. He's like, boycott Dolce and Gabbana. So he's not gonna boycott. Okay, so honey, we have. 
Uh, it's still funny. Is that a bit true? Okay, so Hone, we have another tweet that. Can someone else read this? Yeah. Imad Lehon boycott Halal with Starbucks and McDo. Uh, can it. حدا غير نديم يقرا نور يور تيرن بس ثانية لا هو كاتب شي غلط ما علي ما علي تشوي في ثلاثة اوكي هل هو هل هو ضايعتكم؟ اوكي عماد لهون بويكات حلال وستاربكس وماكدونالدز و كان التفاهة مع عدم تشبيه المسيح لأي شيء ثاني عم جاوبوا عماد بالسياسة على الحياد بالدين والأخلاق عم جاوب عماد <laughs> so when it comes to religion w- w- manners and no la he he doesn't stand he's not against boycotting yani. he's all for boycotting when it's but yes, la, he's not gonna to boycott but when it comes to religion oh, okay, I, yeah, I, mean I just find it hilarious that you know he's taking a stand I'm not boycotting eating McDonald's we're drinking Haida Muffy Camion boycott all Jen Kana boycott people get that accuse people of being snowflakes are the biggest snowflakes but I'm hey the kid me whoever uses come in a kid me the snow you're a woke snowflake the people who use these words unironically are the biggest snowflakes they're the first to boycott well cancel this person I totally agree uh, this is a music video, I think, that I'm in. I don't know, man. Yeah, he's doing it, but he's doing campaign, Dolce & Gabbana. Every once in a while, he does something like that, but literally for marketing. Did he do a pair of Nikes with blood in them or something? 666 yeah. Nike shoes? But he's doing it, man. It's so easy to get people angry and they come in, I'm like, that's what That's literally his, what he does. Let's get it. We got into some interesting comments last week. You guys keep them comments coming. We love it when you guys engage with our videos, send us comments, leave likes. That does a lot to help. Uh, first of all, you guys know I've been very interested in Abu Hadi's age. Abu Hadi is my favorite uh, character on the pod. One of my favorite. Right now, he's my favorite. Easily, I uh, We got this comment uh, from uh, Flex in My Crocs 1247. It says, next documentary got to be for Abu Hadi. By the way, he is in his 40s. Wh- he said it once in his videos. So Abu Hadi apparently is in his 40s. And I was like, well, this is just one YouTube comment. I can't base a whole segment on it. Well, we got a second YouTube comment. And for me, folks, that's enough evidence. <laughs> Uh, to believe something. <laughs> so, Anna Jean-Paul, uh, Jean-Paul Haydamous. Jean-Paul Haydamous. Jean-Paul Haydamous. Okay, he says, uh, actually, this is a fun fact. He says, La Pâte Royale is one of the best bakeries in town. So delicious. Recommended Darur. I would love to go, uh, Jean-Paul, to La Pâte Royale and to try him and ush him in Eden Abu Had. But who is Tamini Abu I want him to feed me. And I want, his, I want his fingers to touch my mouth a little bit. No, he's working here. He's working at the Patroya. We're doing it because he works there. Oh, okay. He's a... He's a... Oh. Ma'am, 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 the show? No, but from what I remember... <laughs> he's a Ma'allim Ajin. He's a Ma'allim Ajin. No, but from what I remember, I know he reviewed La Patroya, but then he went... There was another video. At Mahabou, they hired him. No, he, he works there. <laughs> okay. So, Hon, and in the same comment, John Paul says, And by the way, Abu Hadi, was saying he's 45 years old, I guess. So Anna, the first guy said he is in his 40s. Jean-Paul was a little bit more specific. Anna, he's 45. 45. I so finally have my answer. Yeah. But it's, it actually confused me a little bit more. And I thought he had the Benjamin Button disease, where it, like you, you, you look old when you're young. But yeah. he, I think he's an oldish man who looks and sounds kind of young. I'm, he's... he's he looks old and young at the same time. He doesn't look young. He's just and like, small. He looks like a young person, but with like... Who, who prematurely looks old, yeah, and he's, he's a young man, you know, he, he looks like a 60-year-old, maybe. He has the, the wrinkles of a 60-year-old, I would say. Regardless, let's listen to mm. him saying sma in this amazing wow. video, folks. <laughs> the way he says sma here is like fucking next level. Sma. <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, Elijah <laughs> zooming on his face. He's like, huh? Sma. Sma. <laughs> 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 Yes. We got it. We got to hear that <laughs> smile one more time. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Bro, that's fucking amazing. Hello. Uh, I did look up some real cases of Benjamin Button disease. So we can. <laughs> he's not. He's not. Now that I look at real cases of, of, um, of Haida, he's definitely not. So first, let's read about it for a second. Yeah. Ah, Seria. By the way, I didn't even know it was a real it's, condition. Oh, it, I thought it was, it was just not, it's not, the movie. It's not called the Benjamin Button disease. So it's called <laughs> hutchinson guilford uh, Progeria sim- uh, Syndrome, or HGPS, also known as the Benjamin Button disease, for idiots like me. After the short story and movie, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, <laughs> is another name for progeria. It is a rare genetic disorder that causes a child's body to age quickly. 
progeria is brought on by a mutation in the LMNA gene. So here uh, is, oh. uh, th this is a six-year-old. This is a six-year-old who looks like an 80-year-old. Uh, he's from some kind of Asian country. So like this does not look like what Abu Hadi has. This is way more serious. But, but uh, he's way younger. He's way, this is a baby. This is a six-year-old. Hey, how would he look like as 40? I don't have Masala. that. I don't think they, may, they might not live that long. I don't know. Oh. These, look at these. This is a seventh year, the seven year old with the red pants. This is a oh, seven year old. Crazy. And this is an 18 month old on the left with the green shorts. This is an 18 month old baby. This is, these are from India. Look at their, like, their skin. So definitely, and I've been saying Abu Hadi has that disease. He don't. These are two kids from the States. They're 13 and 10 years old. I don't know how old they are now. This was from a few years ago. So no, this is just showing you what they can look like. And this, is a, this might be the same kid from that first picture, actually. No, it's not. No. No. So this is from Bangladesh. Uh, this child is uh, four years old. This is a four-year-old child. Looks like a like 75-year-old man in this photo. So I'm guessing it's safe to say that Abu Hadi does not have one of these diseases. But what is not safe to say is that uh, we're not getting out of watching an Abu Hadi review. And here he's talking about Elegance Star cookies. But he's so in love with the Elegance Star. Tiram ya tion respect. Like, I, I saved this video like a month ago. Today's the day to watch it, bro. And I love the trash bag background behind them. Shufu a dish. Dam yate ahtiram la elegance star. Healthy munafis. La elegance star. The right is shoksi. No. No. He shall be. I'm a munafis. No. Elegance star. Abdaid. The smoke and the stars are going sandwich the tet away no dark or window or a star. Who is this? I don't know. 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 I don't I'm so confident about this. This goes on for two minutes. Sometimes the way he, he sometimes he looks like in pain when he chews. Haram, his whole body looks like he's aching all the time. Make assumptions that we're gonna get this cancer. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to i this is literally why people say I love her dad, Teresa. Salimto. 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 You gave away the result. Glorio? Glorio? The star. The star. The star. The star. The star. The that's the lowest score I've ever heard him give. Damn, I've got the main one. Bro, I love this guy. Honestly, he just sold. I'm buying for everybody. We're going to try Elegance Star next week. So, less than a dollar. We all get a snack. <laughs> we also got some comments about Andrew Tate. It's been a while since we got some Andrew Tate comments. So let's read that. Uh. After last week, we talked about my false sexual harassment allegations, folks. It's all been solved. We don't need to talk about that she devil no more. <coughs> Although we did, I did find out some new information. But so we're not going to get into any of that. Uh, we got a comment from, and look, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna read this comment respectfully. And no, it's a happy week, happy except, for all, day, the, happy except week. for all the crime sprees that are happening that we're going to talk about. They're very serious in a few minutes. All the McDonald's they're eating. And the McDonald's that we're, that we're doing. <laughs> but Claude Aal wrote a comment. He said, love your show, but I can't help but recall how you called Andrew Tate a human trafficker on countless occasions without any concrete evidence or proof. Yet now you find yourself in a somewhat similar situation where a woman is accusing you of something you did not do. Thank you for believing me, Claude, first of all. 
I did not do anything. It's all, it's all tweets. Yeah. Anyways. Thank you for leaving a comment. Oh, uh, he says, it just shows how weak the legal system is and how easily women can accuse men of things they did not commit in order to ruin their lives. I never yeah. thought I would be one of these men. Falsely accused. <laughs> I am now yeah, under the Matrix. <laughs> Leave the ma Take the blue pill. Take the Which pill gets you out of the Matrix? The blue pill? Blue pill. Blue pill. Blue pill. Take the blue pill. Moral of the story. Life of a man is difficult. Hear that, Noor? And it's always innocent <laughs> until proven guilty. Not the other way around. <laughs> so, now Andrew Tate is definitely a human trafficker. We ain't playing this game. Lol. Noor fated, but that she's like, ha ha ha, I can't believe this comment. Tate fanboys are not yet over it. Claude comes back. He said, not defending Tate here, you are missing the point. In all honesty, if you do not see the similarities between the two scenarios, you are either blind or choosing ignorance on purpose. We're choosing ignorance. The situations Has are not at all similar. They're pretty different. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did not get accused of sexual of, of, of uh, sex trafficking. Hello. I replied, I said, Tate is on video describing his methods for luring in new girls, etc. He fully describes the lover boy method. There are tons of leaked voice notes, messages, actual evidence, zero, simil zero similarities with my situation, but nice try. He responds again, uh, respectfully. Maheke, we're gonna, it's, all, it's all in good fun. He says, Anthony, the people accusing you also have a similar take when it comes to your case, basing their opinions over what they heard and read on social media and condemning you straight away. The similarity is bright as day. Again, the whole point I was making was everyone is innocent until proven guilty in court. Well, he was kind of proven guilty. He was under house arrest for like a year and a, a court at least found that there was enough evidence and enough of a case against him to keep him under house arrest for so long and even imprison him for many months. Yeah, no, you don't do that unless. Well, Hala Raja Sarshi, like they banned the, his socials of Shihik. Hey, and they then, removed all his YouTube videos. I really not follow you. I kind of forgot Andrew Tate existed until he crawled out of a hole to talk about Palestine. I was like, oh, that's actually not a bad take on Palestine. Then he crawled back into the hole and I forgot he existed. Claude says, I really appreciate the time you took out of your day to come up with a logical answer instead of turning this into a joke and labeling me a Tate fanboy without any context. Much respect to you and keep doing what you're doing with the crown. Don't laugh. I appreciate it. I labeled him a fanboy. Ah, you did that. <laughs> ah. Well, thank you, Claude. I see all these women trying to get us, trying to I'm take us down. I don't take this anything man. back. By the way, support uh, justice for Johnny Depp, uh, justice for Jonathan Majors. Bring back Kang the Conqueror. Who, what other, uh, Woody Allen didn't do it. He's in uh, Ooh, justice for Anthony Sargon. Uh, 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 Harvey Weinstein definitely did it. Uh, Louis C.K. is innocent. It was only a phone call. She could have hung up. Chris Brown. Chris Brown didn't beat Rihanna. <laughs> oh, oh God, yeah. I, have to, I have to take the sides of all these horrible men, folks. But first, let's start with Jonathan Majors. But now, Kang the Conqueror will MCU. I'm going to get rid of that shit. Khalas, we're done. Anyways, Claude, thank you so much for the, for the comment. It was fun. I like engaging with these comments. I like getting into fun conversations. And getting back to the McDonald's that we were talking about just a few minutes ago. We got an update on the Mano situation. Hakina, last week, Keith McDonald's launched their very own Sujo burger. Here it is, if you forgot. They like your new favorite burger. Sujo is 700,000 for the meal. And then you take the sandwich for And then Barabu and Mano burger with the Instagram uh, Kamena post with the real taste, the big tasty Sujo, all that shit. And wow, all that clever marketing. Well, they just took us for a ride, folks. So Mano and McDonald's just took us for a ride and they're laughing all the way to the bank because Antonio Nine, Ainata, said, just to be clear, McDonald partnered up with Mano Burger for the Sujo. It was all staged and act and an act for marketing. They bought the recipe from Mano, so that's why you saw the two same ads looking the same. Money can make everything happen. If you try it, the Sujo taste tastes the same as Mano, but with McDo bun and their sauce and stuff. So basically, Mano is the supplier for Sujo. For McDonald's, and that makes sense. And where's McDonald's? McDonald's is a kilo plastic, we in America, we in butter frozen, all that sort of shit. Where are they gonna find the sujo patty this fast? I am to get a burger approved, be McDonald's to, for it to get on the menu is like a two year thing where they're food scientists, I'm Jarbu and be laboratoire. So this, they just bought some patties of an Almano. They're like, bro, we're kind of struggling with sales, but not she local, but not she heke. The sujo burger. Did it taste the same as a mano sujo patty? Ma it doesn't it doesn't taste McDo food, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it felt kind of more fresh. Yeah, yeah. I had the mano burger yesterday. I wish we could combine what you <laughs> had into one mouth and be like, what is what is happening? <laughs> 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 you probably ate the same thing, just with different sauce. Uh, 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 mayonnaise, yeah. Mm. 
That's kind of gross. What the fuck? Should we have to make sujo normally? No, mayonnaise. Ah, okay, I don't know. But like a sujo is made for mayonnaise. Then it's. I don't like mayonnaise, bro. It's fucking. It only works on like. You can feed cheddar for some reason. Cheddar? Yeah, sorry. See, that's weird. Eh, that's weird. I don't fuck with that. Unless about the cheddar. Go to Mano anyway. It was good. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's uh, that's 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 the update, folks. Meshi, Khafif uh, and Deef. We have a uh, winner announcement, folks, for the book. Let's go. No, no, no. Keep keep uh, keep banging the drum. Keep banging. And the winner is, folks, at NR eight five four seven. Oh my God, NR eight five four seven. Here's the comment. Here's the winning comment. It says, "Hi, I like horror because it reminds me of the horror that is to be alive. Winning that book would would ease that horror." Hey hey. Ironic. Thank you, NR8547. Such a memorable u- username on YouTube. <laughs> uh, please message us. Respond to this. Hala. We'll leave you a comment. Tibilo comment. Hala. Reply hala. on your phone. Be like, you won the book. Congratulations. Uh, Tibilo, our email address. The, 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 do not What's worry, email pot email. <laughs> Look into it. Find out what our email address is. Tibilo, yeah, Lilo, reach out to us or leave us a comment. Batna email. Or batna DM on Instagram. Batilo, all the details. NR8547 Salmana, congratulations, you are now the lucky owner of uh, Under the Vile Moon, DC Habib's uh, launch gra- uh, novel. Uh, signed, <laughs> it is a signed copy, and is, uh, if you treat this copy well, you can sell it on eBay. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. If Danny becomes famous, when Danny becomes famous. <laughs> Yalla, enjoy the book. We'll find a way. Hala, I'm going to give you a little bit of a book. It's a second in Beirut. So congratulations to NR8547. All right, folks. Last week, we talked about the A-Raps pod. They got themselves into a little bit of a controversy. Two weeks. Two weeks. It's a two-week-old podcast. So first, so there's a five. They, they, they talked about Kung Fu Jesus. They talked about it for five minutes. I kind of want to make you guys watch the whole thing because... I've, it's cool to have an American podcast. I'm sorry. Talking about our little local shitty podcast. It's flattering. Okay, what can I say? So here, let's watch them talk. And if it gets... Uh, we'll, we'll cut best, through something. Best they should go watch it on their channel. Look. Uh-huh. I know. We should make them watch it on their channel. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, guys, go support them on their channel. We're just reacting to this clip. And then, guess what? There's another hour and 25 minutes of more fun podcasts on their uh, on their channel. Very fun podcast. It's yeah, super fun. We love everybody. Capri, uh, Raf, uh, Frogan. Frogan. Uh, we love y'all. Uh, so let's watch and let's see what they have to say about... Uh, Kung Fu Jesus, folks. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to show you guys Kung Fu Jesus. I have to show you Kung Fu Jesus. You have to show us Kung Fu Jesus. Okay. So, what? Capri is Keep obsessed thunder. with Anthony Sargon. Oh, he's, Sargon. Yeah, he's probably watching yeah. this box. Anthony, hey! Yeah, yeah, Listen. What up, bro? <laughs> That's so good. Cool. What up, y'all? Boxes. He's like jacked. Yeah. He said he beat you up. I, uh, this is why I'm making you watch this, guys. <laughs> Compliments. No, you said you were. Or you already said that you were like six foot something. No, right? I yeah. said seven foot ten on the last pod. I'm oh, okay. Right. You're saying you're saying <laughs> no, but he he said he, he said he'd beat Capri up. No, nah, he doesn't. Know Which I would beat you. I up. agree. I think it could happen. I okay. want. I can it to do happen. it. I'm like, about it. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. And I'd be on Anthony's side. Okay, I watched <laughs> I watched his pod years ago, and I've been like watching his pod for a while. And he does like he's like a Lebanese guy that does you know like a Lebanese American pod for like. You know, Lebanese news or whatever. Yeah, and he dropped That's a documentary the on this guy, which I had no <laughs> idea. I would never know his name. It's a Lebanese guy who lives in the mountains, and he does kung fu, mm-hmm. and he's super religious, and he builds churches, and he's like kind of a, like a hermit that lives in the mountains, but he does kung fu, and every time he like does these weird TikToks, and he like popped off on TikTok, so he drops a full documentary on the guy, and I watched it the other day just because I was like looking for something to watch. And it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. It's the guy kind of reminds me of you. Okay, that's really that's nice. I actually have no idea what you're talking about. I don't either. I'm gonna show you guys. I've never seen this guy. Young either. Scooty, pull it up, dude. Young, so we got the technology this time, Ooh, dude. Oh, look at it. Uh, Scooty, pull it up, pull it up, pull up the Okay, I'm gonna pause it just for a second. Hala Mahadan Yazal, U Joseph is Amtahadar Hey Dashi. I don't want anyone to get upset. They might, they're gonna laugh a little bit, folks, but it's because hey, the old mother that they see Joseph Mirab, all of us, I even said it in the documentary. The first time I saw Joseph Mirab video, I kind of laughed. Yeah, we all so, did. So no one get mad at them, and that's the controversy. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it later. They got a bunch of comments of people being like, you shouldn't laugh at him, etc. They don't know. They all fell in love with Joseph. Once we get to the end of the clip, they love him. So Mahadan Yasib, no one get mad, okay? We love the Arabs. Because they like me, okay? I need that. <laughs> up the, the TikTok. Uh, yeah, 28, I did. I whatever did. he said. Okay, it's 28 minutes. It's yeah, right there, this yeah. is this this part of the video. Look at him. 
جوزيف ما عم نضحك عليك بنحبك يا جوزيف His eyes are. Again, this is hard for me to watch because even at the end of the documentary, I'm like, the whole point of this is to not have people laugh at Joseph. But they don't know, folks. They don't know. Okay? Give him a chance. Just give him a couple of minutes. It's all going to be set right. It's hard for me to watch, too, because I love Joseph. And I was like, what if Joseph sees this video? He's going to be so sad. But I explained it to him. I told him, if you come across this, they love you. They just didn't know what to expect. So, everybody, let's take it easy on the Arabs. Yo, he can oh, kick high. Oh. Look at Anthony in the video. <laughs> 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 it is, this is a funny moment. Hey, you can't blame them. Okay, Scoot, pull up he some. He was of, working hard, huh? Scoot, you got to pull up some of his TikToks that I scrolled up. But, dude, so the dude is like, he got, he all he does all day in Lebanon, he's like super, super religious, mm -hmm. super Christian. He's like, God sent me, you know, like he basically, everything he says is like, God made me do this. And he does these insane tricks. Like, look at look at some of these TikToks. Like, play this real quick. It's, it's wild, dude. Like, he does these tricks where... He's like, okay, God is gonna make me make the ping pong ball, and he's spinning a towel. <laughs> well, how is he doing that? Actually? Yeah, he's spinning Wait, a hold towel. On. That's, actually, that's, that's actually God's and gift. And he says, God gave me the power <laughs> yeah. to do that. How is he doing that with his fingers? Look at the next one, dude. It's so wild. Yo, he, I bet he makes a slam in Mena Ish, though. Bro. Dude, you know <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> many, You know he's Mena Ish. It's so thin and so good. I want to give that guy pizza dough so bad. Look so, at this. I actually made that exact yeah. same joke in the documentary, but we have to cut it out. I asked Joseph, I'm like, is a batik like, he could lift hygiene at pizza. And we, we cut it out because it didn't work. I literally wanted to take him to a foot and, and have him lift from Naish. Why didn't you? Because when we went to the boxing gym, there was a gym, right, there was a foot and right foot underneath and it was closed. Say, yeah. it was closed and we were like, we don't have time yeah, to go to another one. I it could have gone anywhere. It was because we, we were reshooting a scene. So we were short on time and we didn't even want to be there. So we're like, yeah, if it's open, it's open. Listen, he didn't want to do it. He's like, Mafia, <laughs> I can't do it with <laughs> He's like, I can't. So I got a bush in the lower. But I wanted to do that because I thought that would be fucking hilarious. Like him, he would make the best fucking pizza. I was thinking the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, hell yeah, baby. <laughs> so but hey, let's everyone grows to appreciate They him. all love him. What's crazy to me is that like Joseph is going international. He's already kind of famous mm. in other Arab countries. But it's like we have another, we have a podcast full of Americans. Arab Americans, of course. But like they're still Americans. You know what I mean? Reacting to Joseph, spreading this to a bunch of other Americans, a bunch of their viewers. Started watching the documentary and leaving comments like, yo, Capri sent me, the Arab sent me. So that's, awesome. that's how we get the word of Joseph Merab out there when we have our, our lovely Arabs that we love talking about this. Look at him. What is he doing? Is he just always like, oh, he's got one fucking leg. Dude, he saves water and jugs and shit in the dock. <laughs> we'll drop the link down below. Can okay. you do that, Capri? Yeah, I could do I could do all these moves. I'm pretty trained. I'm, I'm well trained. Let me see it. I'll, let me see you do it. I don't think we have the capabilities on this pot for me stand to stand up. Stand up and do it. I'm not going to stand up. Do and that one. You can, you can I'm not stand, gonna do you can stand on one leg. Okay. <laughs> yeah, scoot. Yeah, that one's really good. I could do I could do most of these. Ooh. Wait, so so what's his deal? He just hangs out in the mountain and practices Kung Fu all day? And, and he's very, very, he built his own church. And it's gonna. it was like going to, okay, watch this. Watch Capri's done his homework, man. Yeah, he's he seen the documentary. He's seen it. He knows his, he knows his shit. Look how sick that is. <laughs> what was that? That was him. See, he's, he's telling the camera, he's like, God gave me the power to do this. Jesus Christ. Do you think God gave him the power to do that? Yeah, absolutely. I could, he probably couldn't do it without God. You know, it can, help, it can hurt. You know? Dude, the first video you should, the, of the documentary of him like failing to like jump up was the, so He wasn't failing, Raph. He was one. just a, uh, it's like oh, a no, warm up. This is just him. This is, <laughs> dude, his, okay. Oh, is that man he said he made? This is Oh, it's Kenefe. Oh. But it is. Not good looking, I'm not gonna lie. I, I have to second Capri God though. The color looks kind of off. I love you, Joseph. Turns out it's not Joseph who made that knife, it's his sister. How is this not the coolest I got the inside scoop. <laughs> gonna be honest with Lebanese you. Lebanese men are so toxic. <laughs> okay, look at this. He does it with five balls. <laughs> five? We five are. Five balls, okay? Come okay. from Jesus. Okay. It's like this. He's the sweetest man. Look at him. He's like, Jesus Christ gave me the power to be able to get these balls in the cup. <gasps> okay, that Whoa. was sick. See? Wait, no, hold on. Because that was actually yo, really sick. He, he, for those who are listening at home, he literally had five balls. Was that one, two, three, four, five? Like six balls. He had six balls. And he just threw it with one motion. And they all went into the cups. 
Okay, so here's the deal. I'm so here's happy the with the way I explained it. You know what? Jewish. Maybe he is you're Muslim. Lebanese, you're Jesus Muslim? Christ. Yeah, you're Muslim, you're Jewish. Yeah. Switch teams. Come to my side. Christians, we can put balls and cups. I mean, we have Jesus in the <laughs> I got tunnels, dude. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're just watching it. I've seen exactly. our podcast. Let, let's just stop recording this and let's just <laughs> continue watching that that we're yeah, filming. Yeah. So if you guys like this clip, there's another hour and 25 minutes. And this is their second episode. They're dropping a third episode, I think, this week. Go support uh, them. I think they drop on Wednesdays. Wednesdays? Go support them. Nine-ish. Subscribe to their channel. I think. It's a long episode. It's an hour, hour and 30 minutes. If you got some time to kill, you need some content in the background. Arabs are, are the people for you. Let's get to the controversy. Uh, so this is the reel. They cut up this this clip basically into a short 30-second reel, which really highlighted the laughter, which made our fans very angry. I wanted to show you guys Kung Fu Jesus. I have to show you Kung Fu Jesus. Yeah. This is this this part of the video. Look at him. And then within three seconds, <laughs> <laughs> you got people laughing, you know, laughing their asses off the at our beloved Jose. Look at this. Being able to do the one thing. Look at this part. Look at this part. I can't wait. Hold on. My eyes are closed. <laughs> Rafi is really, <laughs> really like. Yeah, it's all on you, Rafi. This is your fault. So let's read some of the comments that they got. <laughs> yeah. so bad, our audience hating them now, which I'm going to make this right. So I commented, I'm like, lol, oh my god, guys. And then someone replied, but I think they might have deleted it. Uh, our good friend Fatty, AK1990, he said, Anthony, who are these R words? Who are these retards? Uh, referring to the Arabs, so I was like, uh, oh, oh shit. I was like, oh fuck, bro. So uh, let's go back to picture number one. Oh, so, shit. so here I was like, no, no, they just. I'm like, fatty, they just don't know about Joseph. It's their first time. They all love him. So I, I'm panicking. I'm trying to, you know, explain <laughs> what's <laughs> going on. Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, no, uh, they're fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Even, look, friends of the channel, the world sucks. Uh, they're a big channel. They're huge on Instagram, TikTok, all of that. They even wrote, they're like, hope you can do one percent of this at 60 years old. Got 16 <laughs> likes. We got Arabs. We're like, we can't do it now. Again, they're not making fun of him. That that little clip, the 30 seconds, is kind of out of context. So. Yeah, but, but I guess the clip made me want to watch the full yeah. episode. Exactly. And, and then I watched well, the It is actually both funny. Episodes. And then even more fans. We got Daboulet says he has more followers than you. And we have Patricia Arawaji, who I believe, Arawaji, who I believe is the wife of Paul Arawaji, who made that Joseph Medaib remix that we all loved so much. The producer, he's, by the way, going to be helping oh, us. Nice. He's going to be helping us produce a bunch of Medaib songs. So he's a lovely dude. So again, we got all these people who watch your show who are feeling upset and defending Joseph. So I just wanted to make it clear, the Arabs love Joseph. In fact, if they ever come to Lebanon, they want to meet Joseph, they want to learn some Kung Fu from him. I've already told Joseph about them. I would love for them to meet Joseph. Awesome. But so it's nice to know, I know people really love Joseph and yeah. they defend him. If, if, like that's, I would say one of the biggest, I guess, accomplishments of the documentary is mm. that it made people or the, whoever watched it, less likely to want to make fun of him. They all kind of understand uh, him now, and they all like him and respect him a lot yeah, more than they did before. Yeah, and I'm happy that they a clip of Arabs before they the documentary. I'm going to laugh at him, but he didn't Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People, yeah. Have, people, everyone would have related, because before the documentary, everyone was laughing. So, Joseph, I love you know how much we love you. Just sticking to the Arabs thing, I said, yeah, I just want to bring this up. You know, we never talk about UFOs on this podcast anymore. I cut down a lot, because I found out that every time... UFOs were a main topic or the main topic. Views were always horrible. <laughs> when I first started the podcast, I was like, let's talk about UFOs. People did not give a shit. So Capri, if you guys want to talk about UFOs and you're st- like, and you want to talk about it, but you're not, you're struggling, like hide the UFOs, hide it from the audience, pretend it's not there, <laughs> then bam, surprise them with it and force them to watch it. Cause yeah, every time I, I, I talked about UFOs, it tanked the views, but Capri did bring up this video, which I kind of want to talk about. There's, there's this, the, something called, the jellyfish UFO, it's going viral. It was, be, it was in Baghdad a few years ago. I did skip that part. You skipped that part, right? Yeah, <laughs> you see? I watched it because I like UFOs and aliens, Capri. But anyways, we're gonna, I just want to give a small update because Capri was very excited about this clip. He was showing this to, to Frogan and, and Raph, and he was like, check this out, look at this alien. So here's some of the footage. There's this weird you know, uh, thing kind of floating around. Let me mute this. You know what I mean? It looks weird. People are calling it the jellyfish because it's got like... Oh, te- no, I did watch it. The Star Wars thing. Yeah, it's got like tentacles. You know what I mean? People are freaking out. Uh, but there's someone that I follow on uh, Twitter uh, called Stephen Greenstreet. He's fucking amazing. Uh, he's uh, a reporter at the New York Post. Uh, here is his Twitter. And he shared a picture kind of basically debunking what this is. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. So this UFO appeared during Eid al-Fitr. And look at this here, a uh, quick side-by-side of uh, 
of balloons. He says, Eid al-Fitr is an official holiday celebrated within Islam. On the left is a cluster of Eid, of Eid balloons, and on the right is the UFO flying over Iraq. So once you kind of look at these balloons, you can't unsee it. These are just a bunch of balloons <laughs> floating. And half of UFO sightings end up being balloons, weirdly enough. And again, this is coming from a guy who is super into UFOs. I love that shit, but I think that we've all been taken on a ride for the past couple of years with a lot of these Jeremy Corbell experts and David Grush and all these congressional hearings. I think it's all a lot of bullshit. So these are just balloons, folks. So anyone who got too excited about the jellyfish, it's most likely not. And follow Stephen Greenstre Greenstreet. He hosted a show on YouTube called... Uh, the basement office where he was very much pro ufos and all of that stuff but then he started to dig a little deeper and he started to unravel a conspiracy so he's fucking awesome you owe it to yourselves to follow this guy if you're into ufos that's all i'll say for now i told you guys last week that nadim and i were going to go visit joseph Mera because we didn't just shoot a documentary with him we told you Khalas, we're family Sorry. so let's just you know. let's just give you guys a little taste uh here we are chilling with the fam bam, this is me. This is Joseph's sister, Therese, in the middle. Very sweet. She always cooks for us. She always made sure we never went hungry during the shoot. We got Tante Mona on the right in the orange. We love Tante Mona. This is we Joseph's Tante Mona. mom, so the much. legendary Tante Mona. Here I am with Tante Mona and Joseph. Here we got a few more of the family. Hone. We have his brother, Wasim, who I just met for the first time on Sunday. This is his brother, Dr. Kamil, who, uh, who you can see in the documentary, actually. He's the legendary Lebanese ping pong coach. And here we have Fit Nadim Badda, and we have a photo of everybody together. <laughs> we had a nice little time. Joseph has such a sweet smile. He does. Yeah. He smiles. This is a fun little video that Joseph released, taking us and we're all together, enjoying each other's company. Wow. Our son, Hassan, he's from Spain. هاي منى ام التركيز والرب يبارك الجميع <laughs> we love tant mona she is ام التركيز يعني uh, he met, he fed us actually it is the turkeys which we're going to see how he prepared it here this is the first i love that he has i know his own brand كل شيء قهوه التركيز از التركي اليوم مثل ما عم بتشوفوا عم بطبخ رز حطيت لهم قصعين وعملت شاي من كذا نوع وحطيت كمان فوق الرز شاي وحطيت لهم I've never seen anyone cook rice. I, I normally like close the lid. Ooh, it, was like, it was a weird way of preparing rice. <laughs> Here is part two of uh, the preparation. مثل ما شايفين هيدا رز التركيز اطيب نكهه والكل معزوم وانا ونديم جايبين اكل لنرى بدنا نجيب ساندويشات دجاج من عند كينج فادي والرب يبارك الجميع لما نطلع نصور عن جوزيف وي وود باس باي كينج فادي ونشتهي وي لايك وي نيفر ترايد ات سو لايك وي هافينغ لانش ما في هيز لايك يو بوث هاف تو هاف ا بليت سكبنا كل واحد صحن صحن مش اكبر من الثاني ام لايك هاو ار وي سبوز تو ايت ذات اند ا ساندويتش this is exactly what it looked like. You had it the greens. It was like a salad mixed with hot rice. <laughs> it was interesting. Look at that generous dollop of zayt zaytun. <laughs> well, you're gonna love it even more, Noor, because I brought back some Rizzi Turkeys with me. Menan Joseph Miraib, because I had some leftovers because I had to eat the King Fadi chicken, which was, by the way, King Fadi. Sandwich Jay Jandak. Tier Tayyip. Jad the Tier Tayyip. Way. Yane. Wasnon, yane. Jimna Alba Sandwich Shit. Wasnon. Khamse Kilo. Yane. 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 Mopsad, they're here. I don't know if it's going to focus. Yeah, I want to post this on Instagram. Anyways, <laughs> this is basically, it's a bit cold. 
So, oh, this is... Nadim, you know what I'm about to give you. Nadim, you know. You know what this is. <laughs> oh, no. Forks. No way. How many people can say that they have Joseph Merab's home cooking? And it's such a weird combination. It's literally a salad with rice. no <laughs> 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 I'm going to move around one quick topic. Since we're talking about Joseph Menab, we actually got to parodied. We got parodied, folks. Serge, yeah. the, the gentleman that we what? talk about, TikTok. Like two, three days ago, he, he parodied us, but I feel bad because it barely got any views. Sorry, Serge. Yeah, I know, Elijah who basically. I think Dai Tatasi tried to parody too many people at once, so it kind of got. <laughs> Hey, it's like اليوم أنا وأنتوني كالسون عم ننزل فيلم عن قصة حياتي حضروه على اليوتيوب وإذا أجا عليكم أخطبوت شو بتعملوا هاي قوت الأخطبوت والرب يبارك الجميع You see, I think Fatih did bad a shway because he's making fun of Joseph Mera. Then I'm going to make fun of Then I'm going to make fun of Elijah. I'm going to it just got too much. But, <laughs> but I know what, what makes me sad when I watched it. I know, my bizarre, but like I take it as a, you know, it's, it's funny. flattering. Yeah. Someone takes the time to make fun of you. That means, hey, I guess you we, made an impression. We made an impression. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just sad. So this this is as of today, Tuesday to Sweden. This has 2,500 views. They're all doing well. بس نحن اجت البيردي ب 2500 I'm sorry bro I'm sorry just fucking flopped man like ما حدا همه فيي ما حدا بيعرف مين I guess انه فهموا جوزيف مرعب بس انا some guy with glasses and a hat بس انه he got no people who don't know the podcast يمكن ما فهموا الريليشن مش حيفهموا شيء but that same day I dropped a picture wearing like a flannel jacket and I I kind of know he got the look with the weird piercings for Elijah Sergio, no thank you. Ru ale shway la joy ta sidis. Haram, matta yani, khalas. Nezil fi ke liom la joy ta sidis. Dek shway bishbaho bas ma shaar, ma bari. A little bit more hair. Yeah. So they're both, they're both headed to the same inevitable end. We're going to get to the main topic, which is the stealing, the uncontrollable stealing that is happening in Bikil Lebanon. It's all getting caught on these security cameras. Bas, bad that is the turkeys that served as an appetizer. It's time for the main course. Phil and Will yes. have sent us sandwiches. <laughs> Let's break it out, boys. Let's break out the food. <laughs> Let's go. Phil and Will time, baby. Anyways. We got the food. I know, but I'm not We got some Phil and Will, folks. The beautiful, beautiful. Yani, we were supposed to go to their restaurant months ago. But I'm going to stop making excuses. Have some plates. Can I post this now or should I wait that the episode? Post it. Okay. Uh, home. So we got the first bag. So Phil and Will, folks, is A. Masterpiece. Like a sandwich charcu charcuterie charcuterie sandwich place. It was founded by Phil and Will Watfa. Uh, one of them is a superhero patron on the channel, Dr. William Watfa, the boobs doctor. The one and only, folks. Not only is he a patron, he sends us free food, Jan. Uh, it's, it's too much. The love is too much. Hone, it smells like there's pickles in here. Ftaha shufa shufi pickles, or maybe like a side of chips. And these contain the sandwiches. Elijah is in here. But Nadim Rahi was still the memory cards, bad man, so weird. Elijah, you're getting your sandwich to go, baby! Thanks, Thanks. again to 
the lovely folks at Phil and Will, who, by the way, this is not sponsored. They are not sponsors. Best they support us on a monthly basis with their extremely generous uh, donations on Patreon. And we love them very much. Hello, to be fair, I don't like pickles, Best. These pickles smell fucking delicious. Oh, we even got... Is that a card? Oh, my God. We even have a... We even have a, 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 a QR code. Oh, okay. So I can't uh, get the let me open these up. Let's see what, what we got in here. Okay. This is a fill and will. I kind of want a fill and will, Shakazim. I want the OG. This is a Tuscany. Let's see, Shufi. Hey, the Tuscany. Daddy makes the rules. This is a Paradiso. You guys are crazy. Oh my God. You guys are fucking crazy. Oof, look at this. This is the good father. Oh, Godfather, the good father. Godfather, baby. <laughs> this is fucking <laughs> mad. You guys are too, <laughs> you're too on a This is a Sicilian. So we have, what do we have? We have a Sicilian, we have a Tuscany. Okay. Paradiso and the Godfather. Oh yeah. my God, so generous. But the shuffle is one of the shuffle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have pastrami and mental, sauerkraut, caramelized onions, Thousand Island sauce. I think that's And sourdough yeah. bread. Godfather, uh, ham, salami, provolone, lettuce, tomatoes, red onions, pickles, mayo, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Show some respect to these <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> and all the bread do heck. Okay, okay. I cannot tell you how good this all smells, by the way. Ooh, the smell of those pickles is like... Oh my god, it's like those thick, like American style pickles. Oh my god, the freshness. And by the way, we, we got the, and these were delivered like three hours ago. Yane, we're not even having these as they're freshly, freshly made in front of us. No, this is, these are as fresh as we can have them. Best Yane, for something that's been delivered to me like three hours ago, this smells like it was just made. It smells like it was just made. No way. It's so beautiful, Anja. Look, they look just like the photos, by look the way. Look at this. Mm, oh my god. I always hate uh, eating while filming. I feel it's, it's Keep awkward. Keep the back here. What? Woo! Size of homemade potato chips. Oh my god. Now they do it, cabbies. Yo. Mm, yo. Look at that pickle. I put these chips in the fridge and they still... But you know... The Ersche. Ersche de Brimo. That's copyrighted. Mm, oh my god. Yo, try the chips. Come mm. in. Take a piece of chip in that with a bite of sandwich. Adds all that crunch. Oh my god. Yeah, I now I feel extra I stupid. I wish we got some wine. I don't know if we should we, I feel extra stupid cheating and like cheating on the boycott when we have local options like this that we can eat at and Yeah. I don't I don't know what I was thinking. Lord forgive me. Phil and Will forgive me. So they are located in Jamaica. I believe their first spot can be Batroon. So they have two locations. Be Batroon, be Jamaica. Nobody. But if it is, go go visit. And when you go to the Jamaica Definitely one, visit, by the way. tell them we sent you. Tell them we sent you because they sent us free food. So technically they sent you. But no. Oh my god. Right, I wish we could just sit here and eat. That's that's not I can't host a show like this. And so we can keep eating. <laughs> I'm host. gonna keep eating. <laughs> and I have to get back to my hosting duties. I can try hosting while eating I Look guys, I've been talking to you guys about the stealing that's been happening, Bidab Nain. Everyone knows ever since, uh, you know, the Thawra or Wada al the security situation, Bidab Nain, is getting worse. More and more robberies, siyarat, and pinsada. So more and more people on Bidak Bukamirayit, so we're getting more and more of these crimes on camera. Mm. Some of these are going viral. Start with this. Shufu Shami Sirhon. It's crazy addition. People are doing this. Hadan. 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 This one is definitely real. Check this out. It's so fucked up. Come here, Ben Had. If someone wears a COVID mask, tell us the COVID mask is a giveaway. They're robbers. When's that? 
Yeah. But it's crazy that. Yeah. Again? I can't believe I fell for this again, bro. How fucking what? How did Fatish the Tnan Farouj Darak Wahad Badesh? That this third one is definitely real. <laughs> this third one. هيدا على الأكيد هيدا محل تيب هون هناك أختل على المحل وما تشوفه هون there is definitely it's not a prank بالآخر شوفوا كيف في نص النهار حرامة بسوق نيو جديدة أنا عم بحكي مع سنتي عم بشوف ما غير ما نكنت شوفوا شوفوا لا مين رحتوا برافو برافو رحتوا بلشنا سيل 27% to 70% off online وبالمحل رسمت جيم إيش علي I hate people Like, you didn't tell me, but I thought this was actual crime. Hey, the fourth one is definitely going to be real. It's funny, I was like, the first time I saw it, I was like, why is there a guy? Like, why are there multiple camera angles? Until it clicked. Like, hey, this is definitely a crime. Hey, they'll be like, 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 شوفوا بنص دين النهار بمنطقة سكنية ليه؟ 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 ليه
اول شيء فشرت يا صديقي وثاني شيء ما في حدا ما في هدف للتنمر بهالفيديو شرب البريد <تصفيق> طيب ايه ايه مص احسن ما, ما شقفك هلا جوزيف ريبلايز حيش تستقوي ورا الشاشه عشو هالحقد انا ام سيتنج ان فاكينج بيد ان ماي بوكسرز مي ضحك انا موت اوفر ذس فاكينج فايت جوزيف از هافينج اون ذس جاي بعد ما خلص بعد ما خلص قال له قال له طيب هلا شو هلا هلا بلاقيك وين بدك هلا طيب هلا بلاقيك وين بدك جوزيف زخور هون جون زخور سيز جوزيف ذا انتي بولينج اكتيفست از ناو بولينج انذر تيك توكر اوف ما حبيتها صراحه Joseph replies, there is no bullying intended, just using his style because I found it suitable for this video, which is the argument we made when we were defending Oliver Begum. And no, that's what he said. No, he's just using the style. It's not, it's just a take it as a form of flattery, parody, or satire. Is Yanim. It doesn't mean someone's mocking you. Khalas, Shada heard us say that. Ricky. Okay, who's Anna George? They are. Shada, je t'aime beaucoup, mais ne te moque pas de joy. Sad face. Shada says, merci, non, je me moque de personne. Then the guy responds with a shy face, heart, and. Love face, then Shada responds with two love faces. Mm. Like, mm. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Hey, the sixth ahead. Pedros, hey, Ribi Habalak, hey, Dak Masrufu Ben Har, Ed Maashak Asene. Oh, no, Shada, be food. Shum Fakarni, Mama, I am she. Is I lift my income to Njolit. So I, I love this. I love this. Number seven, when he, hey, so honey, be did. Hey, please, Jlotne. Hey, Li, be did. Ed Dem, be ten dollar Maashak. Hone, shu elik mao yi. Hone, hone. What's opinion? Be ul gay. Don't make fun of people's income. Shada says, I don't have to prove anything, but I can go to such restaurants every day. Again with the love face. Hmm. Usip lain. Heida eight. Heida lolo. Mish inta dud bullying. Le la ken am tamil bullying la joy. Is a hadan tmaschar alik. U abas inta tmaschar agairak halal. Joseph bi red shukas. When the bullying? Bilax. إذا استعملت هالستايل ب one of my videos هيدا شيء مفروض يخليه يكون مبسوط و proud proud لا جوزيف love... شادا with the love face fucking hilarious بس عشان سف قال لنم I would بعت هيدا من I would disappear هيدا من كورتي one two three I do not worry podcast making sure he makes it on your next episode as well I replied I'm like he knows how the game works and my man does هو حياة إما أتشن بس هو كتير ده حقتك كمان because this guy فهم فهم اللعبة كمان like Quirty he knows he's like fuck Shada is doing it again We have this خلص ريبارتي انا بلا ما نحكي انا وشادا وي نو اي نو وات هيز ثينكينج نمبر 10 بس اي ونت هايلايت ذا شادا يو ار ات 100 كي يو دروب تو 99.9 كي يا شادا 99.9 يعني تيك توك اي ان بلاتفورم تطلع لك فولورز يعني انا اي ام ستيل نوت ات 10 كي بس يو نو بلس افري شادا سبورتر بس انه شادا اي نيفر ريد ذات بيفور نحن شادا وي ار سبورترز بس انه 100 كي نزلت ل 99.9 انا لاحظتها Others may not have noticed, but you know I know this Shada. I'm just pointing it out to you because this is dangerous. So that's it for Shada. Shada, and I keep having fun. But no, what do you guys think? Is this bullying or not? Was Shada bullying Tassidis? It's not bullying, but it's very tafeh. Uh, no, yeah. I think uh, no, I can ask do to bully, but he just doesn't think before he does yeah. stuff. I think, he, I think he's just trying to ride the wave. He saw that the other people that imitated uh, him, they got into some trouble. We're talking about it on the podcast. He's like, oh, let me get a little piece of that. Yeah, and it's like the terminal, it's like in the school, but it's like we're going to buy something, we're not going to buy anything. But those comments at the Luna, man, let me know if they made you laugh as much as they made me laugh. But no, Joseph, I'm going to the world. And you're like, what are you doing? And I'm going to tell you. It's like so fucking funny, bro. We got called out. I got called out on Twitter. For not giving credit to some of the people who made memes last week, we highlighted Kenfida. Uh, I'm happier in Beirut. Somehow we all are. Ugh. So we looked at some memes from that. But Nur, I bet the memes. But the credit, not the people who made the meme. Not the people who made the meme. The first thing. Yo yo yo. I'm happier. Blah blah blah. There was just one of the credits. The other meme, about the Twitter guy, was not on Jawad. It was not on that. It was just the two memes. Oh, the Jawad one. Eh, Mama, we didn't give him the meme. Taba Jawad. Anyways, memes, we need credits for memes. Damn. I'm going to get embarrassed. I apologize. I'm going to get Twitter. So, here I'm Borat at I am Borat98. Shaba Ali Wahad at Twitter. Second time you use my memes without shouting me out. Get ready for your fifth lawsuit. Do not worry, Pod. My lawyer is Nabi Habir's lawyer, too. I will sue you for 98% ownership of your podcast. It is over for you. <laughs> Obviously, he was kidding. <laughs> that is. Borat's meme right here. Never ask a woman her age. A man a salary. Jawad Kifak. So this is all credit goes to our friend Borat. But more interestingly, look at who replied to this tweet on Twitter. Fucking war monitor, bro. Have you guys? I've been following this account since the war be Palestine started. There's almost at a million 
followers. It's a massive account. L- literally every day I get my news from like War Monitor is one of my sources <laughs> for news on Twitter. He literally added me. He's like, I do not worry, pot. Come on, G, pay up. He called me a G. I was honestly starstruck at that point. I was like, holy fuck, like, what? I'm, he doesn't follow me. I don't know if he watches the show. But so no, I just wanted to, I threw a quick response, man. I was like, yo, big fan, War Monitor. He's like, Habibi. <laughs> I'm like, where? So this guy, that, that, that's his account. There you go, 911,000 uh, like followers. What does it say? Sorry, I, I'm kind of blind. A proud Semite, breaking news, geopolitics, backup account at a war fair <laughs> backup. Want to support me? Donate. Uh, you can buy him a coffee. Cool. Uh, literally, 918K followers. Uh, I've been following this account for like three, four months. Give it a follow. Amazing, like, kind of like... A, Political analysis, the geopolitical, the war, all of that stuff. Great coverage. It's got great sources. Um, just, I just found that kind of funny. Well, we have some more credit to give. But we're not, we're not done yet. Uh, there's another meme that we did not give credit to. So this one was done by Mejdinator. We did not have that. So there you go. That solves that problem. Hey, my hands are clean. Um, crazy prank. Okay, there's, um, there's just a crazy family. Who found this? Nadim. Oh, no. Nadim. So. No. هولي شو فسروا لي عنهم شوي وات ذا فاك از اب ذيس برو عن جد ما بعرف اليوم كان انيك نهار بحياته وطلع لي هول بوجه بس ذي فروم ذا سيم اكاونت نور يو ار تيلينغ مي ذات ذيس بيبل ذي جست فاك وذ ذير كيدز اول ذا تايم سو بيسيكلي فروم وات اي ريد ان ذا كومنتس انه ذير هوبي ذير هول تيك توك بيرسونا از تو ميك ذير كيدز كراي فور فيوز يتمنوا عليهم وان مام تو عندهم حدا اسمه ماما روزي اللي هي الهيلبر تبعهم يعني وبحبوه اكثر من امهم. ايه ذي لاف انه هو بليم ذيم؟ بينزلوا شي لايك 8 فيديوز كونسيكيوتيف فيديوز اوف ذا كيدز تشوزينغ ذير ناني انستيد اوف ذير موم. ليه ما مبسوطين عم تنزلون؟ بتصير الام تقول ليه ليه تحب روزي اكثر منا؟ سو هون وي هاف البابا قرر يشارك بالحرب ويودع ووداع مؤثر مع الاطفال. سو هي سينغ جود باي تو هيز كيدز كيز هي وونتس تو جوين ذا وور. ايه انا قريب هالنكته. ليتس واتش. Oh my god. Oh my god. هيدا ما كان مقلب هيدا كان ضرب ووهو مين بده بوزا كس اختهم برو قايري بهال مش معقول اوكي ذير از انذر ون بيبي نوت كوم تو هيز مومي جد شي از ديفينتلي نوت بيي ان وات شي از دوينغ خل امك تبكيك كل يوم وتنزلك على تيك توك برو اي وونت ليرن اي وود لاف ذا نان اي وونت ليرن هلا رح ايدهم فور ذا نيكست ويك توبكس جوي تاسيديز هلا نزل فيديو وذ هيز هيلبر ميكينغ لايك ا ديزرت بس ما بعرف واي ذيز قديم الفيديو Oh, was that old? My wife. Hella bayin on my algorithm. But these always. does. It's weird when like privileged people, my wife, start making videos like, dude, she just wants to earn her living and like do her job and like probably watch TV. Like, hello, I'm not into your trends. Time you TikTok trend, ma. She's probably like, bro, fuck off. Anyways, folks, that's it. I told you guys, light, خفيف and deep today. It was chill. خلاص. I tabbed on last week. On Jed tabna. And شو بدنا نقولكم يا جم يا جماعة. عن جد تعبنا بدنا بدنا ايه سبيشلي نور اكثر منهم كلهم كدحي بدنا ندمني كم شغله نور سم ثينجز طلبناهم شغل هالجماعه هالجماعه خلص كل رز التركيز كل رز التركيز كليون كليون هلا بسرعه ركزي جاي لك اكزورسيزم نيكست ويك هلا تخيلت وقت لاجل هاف مرعب First again, thank you for filling will yeah, Anjad. This was fucking mission to you guys. And, and we're not just fucking saying this because they sent us free food. This 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 shit has been going like viral. Matam is doing great. They don't need us and my 9000 subscribers to to send them business. They don't need us. Okay? They're doing just fine on their own. But uh, it's fucking delicious. The quality is un- honestly fucking immense. Like I said, I've had these sandwiches for like three hours now, four hours. They say it's fucking amazing. We're all taking some home with us, and I'm gonna take these dogs sitting with me. I'm not gonna let those dogs fucking touch them. <laughs> hey, Kaifu, if they have these, oh my god. But no, no, don't worry, Phil and Will. The doggies aren't gonna have any of these. Thank you so much. Uh, I wanna thank our three brand new blonde patrons Areni Poladian, Mustafa Zalzahi, Zalzali, sorry, Zalzali, Umaik Zahabi. We love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. We cannot do any of this without you. Thank you to some other amazing blonde patrons like Mirna Zakaria. 
Linda, Saumon Fumé, Lucas with an R, Gilbert Dubois, and Hagop. Superhero patrons like Daniel Nechle, Rami Gharib, uh, Ahmad and Lamia, Bonnie, Andrew the Bus, Jessica Ann, and the Zataria family, and got your patrons, Rifat Fakih, Burgery, and the Captain, Eli Al Mujabir. Eli, what I know, I had an issue last week with someone. Zabata. Amilna fucking. He dug around. My man's got me some information, some intel. Love you. What a, what a, what a good man. Uh, folks, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget, we have the winner of our book. Uh, don't forget to message us. We said your name NR earlier. NR8256789. You, you, NR, you are 5825. <laughs> you won the book. Batulna <laughs> email. Send us a DM. Send us a DM on Instagram. <laughs> we will get you that book delivered to you. That signed copy of Under the Vile Moon by DC Habib. Follow our Ella, socials. I didn't comment on, on their comment. Hella, so it's a podcast when they watch the pod. Okay, we can do that. Comment <laughs> bad matin zalat hala. Comment on the episode. I set a reminder <laughs> for that. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to support us on Patreon, you know where to do that. And we will see you next week, hopefully. And as always, do not.